This video is radials on vertical antenna systems. Some antenna systems, especially those that are quarter wave verticals, require radials. I've gone over to more than one ham's house who's having problems with their vertical antenna with just a four foot ground rod in the ground. That's not good enough. You need radials. And here's some prime examples of commercial applications of radials. If you drive by your favorite AM radio station, while you can't see the radials, they're there. In fact, most radio stations, the radial system looks something like this. Some of them will do a system similar to this, but they're both radial systems. The only real indication that you have of a radial system in use is if you look at the base of the tower, those big metal straps. An AM radio tower is similar to a quarter wave vertical dipole. The black thing in the middle is the insulator. An amateur radio will use something on a far smaller scale. If you look closely, you'll notice that the green wire is connected to the antenna, and of course the green strap is connected to the shield. And here's an AM tower, just shortly before they're ready to bury the radials. In the case of AM broadcast, there's 120 radials. And if you do the math, that's one every three degrees. While that does sound like a lot of copper, it actually isn't. Most AM ground radials are actually steel wire with a very fine coat of copper sprayed on the top. Rarely will you ever see solid copper radials, seeing as the radio signal just rides on top of the wire. So how do we connect radials in an amateur radio? Do we really need to have 120 radials? Copper strap to hold it all together? Not really. Here's a couple of examples of bases for amateur radio antennas. You can definitely put a few radials on this one. Fun thing is, is you can actually homebrew your own. If you are going to homebrew your own, I'd definitely use a good stainless. And here's another example of a radial plate. I'm not sure if this is homebrewed or not. Here are rules that seem to be reasonable for ground radials. Radials can be rather small in diameter wire, since so many of them exist to share the return current, and they are in parallel with the ground currents in the earth as well. Ground radials need not be resonant. This is a misconception based on elevated or ground plane type elements. True ground laid radials designed to supplement ground return currents in the earth need not be resonant. Ground radials seldom need to be longer than two tenths wavelength, regardless of the height of the antenna. Even a half wave vertical radiator, a maximum of 0.28 wavelength, seems to certainly be an upper limit for ground radial length. Ground radials do not need to be much longer than the antenna is tall. A shortened antenna with a loading coil will have a more compact near field, where majority of the antenna's field is. The minimum number of ground radials is probably 8, closer to 16. Well, you'd be better with 32. You get the idea. The more, the merrier. Needless to say, four ground radials is going to be a horrible system. The ground around a vertical monopole type antenna can be viewed as a string of connected resistors, fanned out from the base. The purpose of the radials can be viewed as attempting as many of these resistors near the base of the antenna as possible. It is important not to confuse this application with an elevated ground plane. We are talking about radials that supplement the return of the ground currents to the base of the antenna. So how do we put in radials? It's actually pretty easy, seeing as we only got to go about four inches down. I use just a regular lawn edger, but you can go manually as well. Took me about maybe 45 minutes to do the entire job. Hooked up the 80 meter vertical and we were ready to go. So what did we really accomplish? Basically, we got a quarter wave vertical. In my case, there's a little coil at the bottom because it is for 80 meters. And we put out some radials. Now we're all ready to jump on 80 meters to see how it works. I hope this video has been helpful. And 7-3 from N9LVS.